वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग टूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द गैस एंड बेसिकली फॉर एक्सपांसन एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेसर एंड एक्सपांसन एट पोलिट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस एंड देन आफ्टर कंप्रेशन एट आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस सो जनरली थ्री प्रोसेस फॉर सिंगल प्रॉब्लम विच विल बी इंक्लूडिंग कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेसर एक्सपांसन expansion at polytropic process and the compression at constant temperature process so according to the data let's see here 0.15 meter cube of air at a pressure of 900 kilo pascal and temperature 300 degree centigrade so here it will be the point number 1 conditions or you can say v1 p1 but for the constant pressure process p1 equal to p2 that will be equal to 900 kilo pascals so if i want to con convert into the pascal so 900 into 10 is to 3 pascal and the temperature t1 that will be having a 300 degree centigrade so converting into kelvin so that will be 573 degree kelvin now for further data is expanded at constant pressure to 3 times of its initial volume so v2 that will be equal to 3 into v1 from the data so it is expanded polytropically following the rule of pv raised to 1.5 that will be equal to constant so that will be you can see that will be the polytropic process and value of n that will be 1.5 and finally compressed back into initial state isothermally so constant temperature process and calculate the heat received heat rejected and efficiency of the cycle so let us see on to the pv diagram over here so x axis that will be the v y axis that will be representing as a p so as from the data first at constant pressure process so point number 1 to 2 that will be expanded so it will be look like this kind of arrow or you can say constant pressure right so 1 to 2 process representing as a constant pressure process then after it is expanded polytropically so from point number 2 to 3 and that will be once again the expanded so downward direction so pv raised to 1.5 equal to constant so that will be called as a polytropic process so 2 to 3 process it will be representing as a polytropic process and once again finally compressed back to its initial state so point number 3 to 1 initial to initial state with isothermally so pv that will be equal to constant temperature process says so from the point p one equal to p2 because of the constant uh, pressure process and here pv raised to 1.5 equal to constant that means polytropic process so according to the points one so v1 is given v2 that will be equal to thrice into v1 and v3 that should be find it so let us start with the our solution says from the simple relation p1 v1 equal to m r t1 so just you can write down like this m is equal to p1 v1 upon r into t1 so just put the value of p1 and that will be 900 into 10 is to 3 into v1 means 0.15 divided by r and that will be the value you have to assume over here So 287 into T1. So just put the value and you will get the answer. Mass is equal to 0.826 of kg. 
Now let us start with the first process or we can say 1 to 2 process and that will be constant pressure process. Say as from the equation P1 V1 upon T1 that will be equal to P2 V2 upon T2. So here it will be the constant process. So P1 equal to P2. So finally you will get T2 equal to V2 into T1 upon V1. So just put the value of V2 and that will be 3 times into V1. So V1 V1 cancel out and you will find the answer of T2 that will be 1719 degree Kelvin. And here now for heat supplied or heat received from 1 to 2 process or you can say constant pressure process so Q 1 to 2 that will be equal to M C P T2 minus T1. So just put the value of M and that will be from here C P we have to assume that for air that will be 1.005 kilojoule per kg Kelvin and the temperature difference T2 from here and T1 that will be from the given data so you will get Q1 to 2 that will be equal to 945.57 kilojoule that amount of heat received by the systems now for 3 to 1 process or you can say constant thermal process or constant temperature process. So T3 that will be equal to T1 and that will be equal to 573 degree Kelvin. Now I am interested to talking about a second process and that will be the polytropic process. So in case of 2 to 3 polytropic process for work done so W223 P2 V2 minus P3 V3 divided by N minus 1. So just put the value of P2 V2 it will be converting into MR into T2 minus T3 like this. So just put the value of M R T2 T3 and N and you will get the answer because all the data is given into the problem M that will be 0 0.280 R287 we already assume over here T2 that will be 1719 and T3 that will be equal to T1 and that will be equal to 573 so you will definitely get the answer 540 kilo joule now for the heat from polytropic process so gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1 into work done so just put the value of gamma and that will be 1.4 and n and that will be 1.5 and work done so that will be 540 kilo joule so finally you will get q223 that will be equal to minus 135 kg now for the process 3 to 1 and that will be you can say that constant temperature process for the work done that means P3 V3 ln V1 upon V3. So at constant temperature process just you can see P1 V1 upon T1 P3 V3 upon T3. So temperature temperature cancel out. So V1 upon V3 equal to P3 upon P1. So just put the value of V1 V3 into this equation over here. So that will be modified. And once again P1 V1 equal to P3 V3 that will be equal to constant because of the constant temperature process. So just changing P3 V3 in the form of P1 V1 and V1 upon V3 that will be P3 upon P1. So here just put the value of P1 V1 P3 and V3 and you will get the answer. All the data will be given like over here from P1 that will be 900 kilopascal V1.15 P3 so generally P3 you will get from above data so from the polytropic process T3 upon T2 that will be equal to P3 upon P2 raised to n minus 1 upon n so P3 equal to P2 into T3 upon T2 n into n minus 1 so value of P3 32.34 into 10 raised to 3 pascals 
So just put the value of P3 and P1 and you will get the answer minus 449.022 kilo joule. Now total heat rejected by the systems and that will be Q23 plus Q31. So minus 135 plus minus 449.025. So finally you will get 584.022 kilojoule and that will be called as a heat rejected. Now I want to interest in the final one then and that will be the efficiency of the cycles. So efficiency or you can say thermal efficiency that will be equal to heat supplied or you can say heat applied minus heat rejected divided by heat applied. So just put the value of QA and that will be heat received or you can say heat applied minus QR and that will be total heat rejected divided by QA. So finally you will get 0.38 or you can say efficiency of the cycle that will be equal to 38 percentage. So thank you very much. If you like it and understand, so subscribe and share. Thank you very much.